Welcome to Kingdom Reality, your gateway to deep insights into the truths and realities of God's kingdom. Dive deep into the teachings of esteemed teachers of God's Word as they illuminate the mysteries of Scripture, offering priceless wisdom and revelations. Our channel serves as a beacon of enlightenment, guiding seekers on a transformative journey towards understanding the essence of divine truth and purpose. Join us as we explore the depths of spiritual reality and embark on a quest for genuine understanding and spiritual growth, revealing kingdom realities. When you make a decision to follow the Spirit, your flesh begins to appear. So you need to, it's work. You need to be able to yield to the life of the Spirit. Then, see, when you yield to that Spirit, the issue is don't try to live for the Spirit. Now, don't just also try to live the flesh. When you yield to the Spirit, you'll be empowered to abandon the flesh. You know, I preached a message on how to break from addiction. I said one of the ways to break from addiction is to be addicted to something else. Uh, you move from one addiction to another addiction. Don't have a, a vacuum. So you need to move to the spirit side for you to be able to abandon the flex side. Let me explain to you. Do you know why many of this, many of, how many of you are sincere that on almost every day you feel you are pressured you have sexual pressures raise up your hand don't pretend like your sister will know that you have pressure raise up your hand you feel you have sexual pressure L like some you are struggling you are not doing it all but you are like ah, why am i feeling like this now why is my body doing raise up your hand above your head <laughs> i'm still your pastor say ah pastor we know that me too i used to feel it I don't worry if you raise up your hand yeah, I'm here to raise up your hand very well okay thank you do you know why you feel like do you know why the okay let's let do you know why the sexual pressure is much I will explain you are exposed to a radiation that is more than the other radiation you know when you stay under the sun for a while you begin to have a headache but what if you run under AC You get the idea? How many of you have stayed in Dubai before? You know, in Dubai, the sun can break your head. So scorching, right? You will not be waiting to run inside the car or inside the room so that at least your head should come down. So that's what happens. You go on TikTok, you have sexual radiation. On Facebook, sexual radiation. On Instagram, sexual radiation. On Snapchat, sexual radiation. On your way, sexual addiction. I was at the airport generally today. You will see some yellow. <laughs> you can't close your eyes. You will see it. You turn here, you will see it. You turn here, you will see it. You turn here, you will see it. Everywhere you turn, you see it. So that alone has charged up your sexual appetite. That when you have opportunity, you misbehave. But do you know what? How do you kill it? Expose yourself to another addiction by creating atmospheres for the world atmosphere for prayer atmosphere for worship that you surround yourself with another radiation that can counter that other radiation so when the flesh comes there is a standard that can be raised all of us experience it the reason why some of us don't fall is that there is a radiation higher than the other radiation those of you that fall it's not because you want to fall it's that what you are exposed to is higher than the spirit content so God is a God of weight and measures you mess up because your exposure to spirituality is only on Sunday Monday throughout the other day even your office there's a lady giving you something there's one giving it from here you go online you see it you don't have to search for it even while browsing it comes there God bless Africa hallelujah are you seeing here you are exposed to it on a daily basis. You move around, you see it. Even in the bus, is there. Anywhere you go, you see it. That's what you keep seeing. You keep seeing. But yet, you only cry and worship only on Sunday. So, you have seven over one. It is normal for seven to win. So, when you discover that the charges from immorality is high, what do you do? Increase spiritual charges. Satan, puncture your prayer life to advance your carnality 
Satan punctures your spirituality to advance your carnality. Satan punctures your spirituality to advance your carnality. What do you do? Expose yourself to the world. Do you know how I sleep? I sleep with worship songs. I play it and I sleep with it. I play the scripture, I sleep with it. When I'm moving, I plug my earpiece, I'm hearing the scripture. Because I need to increase spiritual radiation. Don't say I'm a pastor, I make only blood, Lara. Which pastor? I see blood is not flowing from my vein. And you are a pastor. Some, some, some of your daughters in the Lord, they just stand up. Stand up, man of God. Say, Papa, oh, oh, I've missed you. You can't embarrass them immediately. But that one, oh, remember school, oh gosh. Just glory to God. Some, when they are coming, you already have done like this. Oh, God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. But now, they, 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 are, they are coming. Ah, you two just, eh, eh, I'm a man of God. Oh, God, Jesus. Oh, hear me all those two mini stones cannot kill the child that have entered if there is no there must be a foundation of charges so strong so that's why the reason why you pray in tongues more often is that increase the charge of the spirit so you are walking you are in the bedroom don't wait for prayer time one hour in the morning is not enough for the things you are seeing online he go out in Leo. Oh, good or charge? Tell him, say charge. charge. Say charge. charge. You bet. Ah. One video can finish your day. One, one TikTok dance. One, one. And the thing is jumping. <coughs> Lord, I'm messing. That one can finish your whole prayer life. Am I lying? One, one video. One day I was searching for Bible verse. In the night, Bible verse. And one video came to see more. Click. Yes. In the middle of the night, and I clicked. As I clicked, it clicked. And I hold the phone. Should I drop it or should I continue? Should I drop? I quickly remember. <laughs> but guess what? The picture is already there. Yes, sir. Your mind is so photographic. Your mind is a magnet. You better increase the magnet capacity by magnetizing spiritual things. Don't scam yourself. Oh. Don't pretend that you are a saint when you need help. My brother, my sister, things are you are exposed to dangerous carnality every day. What do you do? Fire up your spirituality. Increase prayer. Don't only pray in the morning. Pray all day. Apostle Paul said, pray without ceasing. As you are checking TikTok notification, checking with comments. Also do Bible notification. Check your Bible you version. Check scriptural notification. One, one verse in five, five minutes. Set your life like that. One verse. Check. Meditate. Continue. So that when one lady is dancing rubbish, the picture cannot counter the scripture. You don't. You don't eh. How many of you did not learn songs and you know how to sing the song? I don't know where I learned. I'm unavailable. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. How can I not be available? Amy. I rebook it in Jesus' name. But you have sang this song though. How did it get to your mouth? You see, I did not know where I learned it from. I just saw it in my mouth. And I'm sure, how did you get here? How did you get here? So, since you did not learn it before you know it. Also, if you start playing scripture, you won't learn it before you know it. That is how to ensure you kill carnality. You are in a dangerous world. It keeps getting tougher. To be a Christian today, is tougher than it used to be. 
So what do you do? Set up strategies to ensure you are spiritual. Don't pretend. Don't pretend. Load yourself with, surround yourself with scriptures. If there's anything I've learned from my wife, our room, she has pasted, pasted scripture everywhere. You go to the mirror, you are seeing scripture. You two do it. Paste scriptures everywhere. Instead of seeing nonsense, you two see scripture. Don't just see picture, see scripture. A life that is structured by the pictures of the scripture can never be captured. A life that is structured by the pictures of the scripture can never be captured. Don't allow the devil to capture you by the pictures they are showing you. Don't allow the devil to capture you. The pictures are terrible pictures. You to paint a picture of the world. Surround yourself with the pictures. Load your room with scriptures. Do notification of Bible on your phones. Put it around. Get audio Bible. Ah, you need audio Bible. Actually, the dramatic KJV. Go and download it. Play it. Sleep with it. See, if you sleep with scripture, you will see yourself in the Bible. Sometimes you will meet Peter. Sometimes you will meet Isaiah. Sometimes you will meet David. What are you hearing? So, prepare scriptures around you. When you want to sleep, just put it there. Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and sleep with it. You will see Jesus. Don't just be surrounded by all this nonsense. Then when you go online and you mistakenly see those things, it will just drop. Or day she. Somebody throw you jab or drop. But when you are empty, I see you straight. Retreat, Lungebe. Rise up on your feet if you are blessed with them. Give God a shout of praise. Have you been touched by the message you just heard and you want to give your life to Jesus or you want to rededicate your life to Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Then say this short prayer. Lord, I admit I am a sinner. I need and want your forgiveness. I accept your death as the penalty for my sin and recognize that your mercy and grace is a gift you offer to me because of your great love, not based on anything I have done. Cleanse me and make me your child. Be faithy receive you into my heart as the Son of God and as Savior and Lord of my life. From now on, help me live for you, with you in control. In your precious name, Amen. Congratulations to you. If you have just said that prayer, you are now a child of God. Look around you for a Bible-believing church and also ask Jesus to direct you to the church where you can continue to serve Him. Consider subscribing to this channel too, so that you'll keep learning the realities of God's kingdom. God bless you.